We'll see you in a bit. Thank you, Kelly. One of those events to get you out of the house this weekend is Thrillville in Indio. It started, say, at noon and is replacing the annual day festival this year due to a lack of resources and staff. Admission is $10 and includes a flying royal circus, games, and shows. The date festival was canceled last year because of the pandemic. People say they are excited to see what this event has to offer. They've been locked in the house for the last couple of years, so just trying to make it feel normal again. I got on the, that orange one over there, and uh, I think that was it for me. One, one's enough. And your daughter? Yeah, oh yeah, she's getting on all of them. Thrillville closes at 10 each night and it runs through the 27th. You can find more details right now at KESQ.com. Modernism Week is back in person this year after being held virtually last year because of the pandemic. The 11 day event is bringing thousands of people into town and will feature 350 events in all. One of those kicked off tonight. News Channel 3 photojournalist Christopher Tarpany gives us a look inside the Palm Springs Modernism Show and Modern Design Expo. We're really glad to be back. This is our 22nd show. We, we haven't been here in February since 2020 due to COVID, but we're super happy to be back because we bring together the largest contingent of vintage 20th century design dealers and the most interesting 21st century design dealers what, where the future is heading. The display is primarily Cork. In Cork's case, it is one of the most environmentally sound products to use. The trees grow for 300 years. Uh, you harvest a tree every nine years. I'm from Seattle. We drove down. We love Palm Springs for many different reasons. The arts community is very supportive of what we do, actually of all of the vendors that are here. And it's just a great time to bring some of our favorite things and have other people appreciate them as much as we do. We are so happy to be here, even though we're still wearing masks and the pandemic is still here. People are eager to be out and ready to spend money. I, I think it's going to be a fabulous show. This is our booth here, as well as the booth next door. So we really expanded and we're happy to be here. Chicago is cold and snowing right now. So that is, you know, that's Rosemary's thing. She gets us here when it's cold. Whenever there's a big storm, you'll get a call from Rosemary and she'll want us to come out here in the sun. But it's nice to have a break, to be in the sun and, be, and, and actually be where modernism, sort of the heart, the pulse of modernism, which is right here in Palm Springs. Photojournalist Christopher Tarpany put that together. You can get more information on all of the events going on this weekend from one end of the valley to the other at KESQ.com.